going to introduce you to what that movie is if you don't know or haven't heard of it. It looks really good. It really does, actually. Yeah, yeah we were talking about it yesterday, and I'm, I'm very intrigued. It mm. looks awesome. So what is this photo? Look at this awesome photo sent in by Dickens. Thank you for sending this Dunder Rave sunset last night. Just a spectacular, crisp capture. So thank you for that. Beautiful. We did see some clouds push in uh, right around that sunset hour, and we are seeing a beautiful start, though, to the day. We've got a little bit of cloud cover, 17 right now heading to a seasonal high of 22 by the water up to 25 inland so we do have a nice day ahead this is unusual so yesterday's hot spot 29.1 degrees tied between Lillooet, Lytton and Asoyuz. We also saw new record lows yesterday so our temperatures uh, from some of these new records Princeton, Whistler, Creston, Lillooet new record lows so we saw a nice drop in temperatures much needed some precipitation around the province we've got an improvement in our fire danger rating so that's great news and we do have more rain on deck so big news right now air quality statement in place, west side of Vancouver Island included. As you can see, the South Okanagan as well as down here around Victoria are in that moderate zone right now as far as air quality and the risks associated with that. The rain pushes in Sunday afternoon for the north and west side of Vancouver Island and then through the later part of the evening and overnight into your Monday, it is going to be a soaker. So get ready for some significant rainfall totals on Monday. As for today, it's a nice day, beautiful day, other than the smoke that is really dominating the southern half of the province. We've got the Smilkameen, Manning as well included in that, South Thompson, Columbia Kootenai region all under air quality statements west side of Vancouver Island. Some increasing cloud for Tofino, temperatures quite comfortable and some showers and clouds for Prince Rupert, risk of some thunderstorms for the BC piece. It's getting a little windy in that area today as well. So we'll have a breeze today. It'll be nice tomorrow before the clouds take over and that system brings rain and a very significant drop in temperatures, 17 degrees, burr, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is quite the change too cold but, for summer well maybe it'll give us green grass again yeah we'll do that. <laughs> all right we'll thanks <laughs> to whisper i know but we it's won't. so calm it's beautiful. so calm out there which the weather is actually a little bit calm this it weekend sure isn't is. it is look at okay. pc not the same for <laughs> alberta but for us we're, we're not doing too badly a few showers pushing into the north coast we've got some clouds for the interior but otherwise i'm going to keep talking in this very low voice now uh, 18 degrees we're seeing a few clouds but we're expecting the sunshine throughout the day mixed with some clouds maybe in certain pockets uh, air quality statements now for the west side of vancouver island we've got manning similkameen south thompson as well as the Columbia Kootenai in those zones as well. So into the moderate zone really uh, for air quality index right around Victoria and the South Okanagan. Here we are, rain's moving in. That's late into the afternoon Sunday, as you can see through the mainland. We won't get that until through the overnight and into your Monday, but packing a lot of moisture, many millimeters of rainfall coming our way. So very dry conditions and we're gonna see a little bit of an improvement with this system. So that's great news as we wrap up a very dry July. So trending in the same direction as we did last year. Prince Rupert showers, terrace 20 degrees. Our temperatures are back to the zone that we expect for this time of the year. We do have a risk of some thunderstorms for Fort Nelson, as well as as we slide down here, you can see that risk is there for Vailmont, as well as for Revelstoke and Cranbrook of seeing some moisture, as well as a few pop-up thunderstorms. But it is a low risk, and we do have really, it's the, the local smoke that we're dealing with. Tofino, we'll see those clouds push in. As for Port Alberni, 27 degrees. It's going to be nice and hot inland for Vancouver Island. Again, it's the west side that's got the air quality. Victoria not doing great on that index in the moderate zone. And for us, temperatures up to 25 inland, feeling like 28 with the Humidex. The UV's at a 7 today. Rain and cooler day on Monday. And then in through the valley, we'll see some of those showers on Tuesday morning before we start seeing those temperatures warm up again. And we'll feel summer again. Don't worry. <laughs> Jennifer? <laughs> Summer's not over yet. All not right. Yet. Thanks so much. Well, naming heat waves, that's That would be a, 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 whole new, a whole new era here we're moving into. Yeah, it really would be. <laughs> yeah. What's so, this cute little family? Well, it's the last Saturday of July, hard to believe, so I thought I'd show you this photo <laughs> Vern sent in. Not one, but five, <laughs> or four or five there. Um, but yeah, some uh, cuties, I guess, there, taking a look at what's happening. A little bit of a calmer day around the province. As you can see, we're seeing some lightning and thunderstorms across other areas around the country. Mostly cloudy skies right now. We're 
seeing some sunshine through the afternoon hours, expecting these clouds to break, and we're going to be hitting a high of 22. So far, the hot spot this hour is a Soyuz at 27.3 degrees. We've been seeing cooler temperatures. We saw some rainfall that has helped the fire danger rating come down at least in certain pockets here. Uh, so that's good news, and we do have a system that's going to bring some significant rainfall to the south coast. We had this air quality statement up the west side of Vancouver Island. That's been dropped. It's now Greater Victoria, Smilkameen, Skagit Valley, as as well as Manning and the South Thompson here. We can see uh, the Columbia and the Kootenai region as well. So we've got air quality statements in place. Certain pockets I'll show you are going to be seeing worse on that index. And there's that system moving in. So some showers for the north coast today. Tomorrow afternoon it moves in on Vancouver Island and that'll push in through the overnight and into our day on Monday. It is going to be a very wet one and some of that pushing across the rest of the province. So some showers will trickle in through the Fraser Valley and the interior region as we get into Tuesday. But we'll see that sunshine shine back. Uh, winds out of the southwest, we do have a risk of some thunderstorms today. 30% chance of a few showers for the next few days, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. Southerly breeze for Whitehorse, northerly tomorrow, risk of some thunderstorms in that region. North coast, the system moves in, so some showers today, rain, and then more of a on and off situation as we get into Monday. Afternoon showers, hazy skies for the caribou, normally 23 temperatures back in that realm of where we should be for this time of the year. Wrapping up July I can't believe it. Uh, hazy skies for the Columbia Kootenai, a little bit breezy tomorrow and taking you through the Thompson Okanagan. We've got these winds a little bit gusty and we're dealing with some local smoke in that region. 28 inland showers into your evening on Monday and into Tuesday for the Sea to Sky. Overnight rain Sunday into Monday. It'll be more of a shower situation for Victoria and for us. There it comes on Monday. We're going to see a real dip in temperatures across the province with the system. Three big birthdays. Grace Lim, Saturnino, Ramos celebrating her 100. Eileen Hulgate, the 101st birthday. So congratulations to all of you. I hope you're having a great day and a belated to Leonard and Mona from Port Simpson, their 72nd yesterday. So a snapshot of the five days ahead. We are going to be seeing a nice wrap up to the weekend and then that rain pushes in Sunday night, soggy and cool. And then we rebound back to some warmer conditions. Jennifer. All right. Thank you so much.